my fascination with fire trucks began when I was big enough to just know what they were. Uh, the Defender Fire Company in my hometown here of Berwick, Pennsylvania, operated a 1925 Mac AC Bulldog Pumper. In 1951, I joined the Defender Fire Company, and unfortunately, the Mac Bulldog that I admired for so many years was sold a few months before I, I joined the company. I decided that maybe I ought to have my own fire truck, and I put a bid in on a uh, pumper, which was for sale in New Holland, Pennsylvania. Uh, one of the things that I uh, like about these two trucks is that they are uh, all original and all the major components were, were built by Mack. The uh, chassis on uh, Mack's at this time that these were built were built in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Uh, they would put an orange crate over the uh, frame rails and a driver would drive the trucks over the road to Long Island City, New York. Uh, Mack had a facility there which was a rebuild center but they also had a machine shop and a body shop, and uh, this was where they assembled the fire apparatus, uh, completed the truck. <coughs> the motors are both Mack Thermodynes. Uh, this is a 510 cubic inch displacement. This truck's equipped with an oil bath air cleaner, still has the original type sock oil filter. The uh, chrome valve covers were uh, a little extra touch that Mac put on and on their fire trucks. There, there were a number of configurations. Uh, this is what's called the canopy walkthrough type. Uh, the rear seat faces rearward and it's entered through uh, a walkway which we'll see when we get to the back of the truck. This is a, uh, a pressure gauge which uh, gives the uh, uh, discharge pressure in pounds per square inch. RPM. We have approximately 75 pounds on the discharge gauge. Transmission's in fifth gear. Speedometer's running. These are what they call hard suction hoses. This is necessary if you draft because when you create a vacuum, if they weren't rigid, they would uh, collapse when the vacuum was applied to them. Uh, these are the nozzles. Uh, they were required to have two hand lanterns. This is a suction strainer which goes on the end of the hard suction to keep the major debris out of the, uh, the line that goes into the pump. They didn't make the extinguisher, but they had their, their name put on the extinguisher. Uh, all pumpers were required to have uh, ladders on them. Uh, at this point in time, all trucks were delivered with bells. This particular motor has an updraft carburetor. Uh, two distributors, two coils, and two spark plugs per cylinder. The L model has always been my, my favorite Mack model of all time. I've often remarked that I think on the eighth day God created the L model Mack. Uh, uh, this was owned by the Dauntless Hook and Ladder Company in Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania. It was delivered on March the 1st, 1948, and it answered its last fire call uh, over uh, 30 years later, on May 17th, 1987. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is the three-door version of the sedan cab. The, uh, the seat faces forward, and it's uh, a very generous uh, uh, amount of space in there. Three firefighters in full gear could ride there with, without any problem. Uh, <coughs> This is the, the famed 707 uh, engine which Mack built. This was their biggest and uh, premium engine for fire trucks and also for over the road use. Uh, they dolled these up with the chrome covers and the uh, chrome air cleaner. Sock type oil filter, mechanical fuel pump, large generator, 
dual fan belts. Uh, over on the other side here, we can see the dual ignition features. Unlike the uh, the 510, this one has a, a Zenith dual downdraft carburetor, dual ignition, uh, twin distributors. do the shifting frenzy that some of the fellas with their 76 speed forward do, but we'll see what we can do with the four we got. It's a beautiful view of the Susquehanna River Valley there. Actually, this, the county line runs right through here. The northern part is uh, Luzerne County. The southern part is uh, Columbia County. Directly ahead here is the body shop where this truck was repainted. taking a route here out through the country that involves a pretty good grade. I'm not sure. I think it's probably about 10%. But that'll make the truck work a little bit. I have a horseshoe curve here. Deepest part of the grade now. It levels off just a little bit. Now it levels off enough we can catch fourth gear. thing that I like about this truck, everything is manual on it. Manual transmission, manual steering, manual clutch, manual choke. Not too, not too many things to go wrong. Out here to our left is Berwick City Hall, which is a beautiful example of Victorian architecture. 